A group of BYU students is walking alongside pilgrims from all over the world as they finish the final leg of a trek that is hundreds of miles long and hundreds of years old. I think it is awesome and something I've never done before, but I've heard lots about, so I'm excited to finally get to do it. Dr. Greg Stallings and his wife Gloria led the BYU Spain study abroad on a short portion of the Camino de Santiago. They follow the leader, <laughs> so I feel great. I think it's an amazing experience. The Camino, known as the Way of St. James, is a pilgrimage across France and northern Spain that people have walked over the past 1,000 years. It's like trek. <laughs> The Stallings have never done the pilgrimage, but really wanted to take their study abroad students this year. My husband talked to the students, just start pondering, just, um, just don't take it like a, any walk. I'm talking with your partner or companion, but just take it like a, as a spiritual journey. Stallings said that it has been the best experience she has had on the study abroad. It was for me uh, like a dream to come to Santiago. Pilgrims finished the walk at the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela where they received their certificate of completion. While there are many different factors that inspire people to walk the Camino, most do it for either cultural or religious reasons. It makes me want to learn more about the apostles. Like when I told my husband that we're doing the Camino and um, James' bones are buried here, he's like, what? How did he get to Spain? I'm like, don't you know, like James preached the gospel to the Spaniards. At noon, all the pilgrims gather inside the cathedral for Catholic Mass, where they can pay tribute to the Apostle St. James. I'm excited to go to Mass, actually. I've, uh, I've been to Mass in Germany once, and it was very cool. Let's have to go again. After welcoming those who have finished the Camino, a Catholic priest gives a sermon to a mixture of locals, pilgrims, and BYU students. The peregrinos, the pilgrims, they are all like family. Like you see them hugging each other and getting to know each other, and they can do that inside the church. The message it was about marriage. But no matter how far or for how long they walked, everyone came away feeling impacted in one way or another. All of us, we are anxious to have to find Christ and to find God. Being able to walk the Camino and come to the church as the finale. It makes you think about the sacrifices and what you're sacrificing in your own life to get close to God. 